Hey everyone, Zerms here. Uh, today I'm back again with another deck profile. Uh, this time, uh, you do probably know what deck I'm probably going to do because I already talked about it in like a couple of videos before this, but it's Ghost Tricks. Uh, Ghost Tricks is a deck based on the based on level 1, 2, and 3 monsters that basically annoy your opponent by uh, basically uh, negating the attack right there, summoning right there, and um, they also evolve around uh, flit summoning and stuff like that. Um, this deck is really annoying when you actually start to get into it. Um, this is not like the final version of the deck uh, yet, most likely, because I'm sure you can probably fix it here and there. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to slow you off because this is like close, not, not to the very final, but very close to what the final version could be the deck is. It could be the deck. Um, so what's going on for it right there? Uh, Ghost Tricks basically, as you can tell, are level 1, 2, and 3s. Um, but they, for the levels right there, uh, there's actually three different types of like um, like effects that like, each level actually gets. Le level 1 monsters basically uh, after be from the hand, so basically they're hand traps. Like Jack Frost right here, you can change, if one of the monsters declares attack right there, you can change, you can change that monster to face on the fence position and do, and then summon this card from your hand. Um, very good card, it actually prevents like, certain monsters from attacking right there. Um, Ghost Trick Lantern, when a monster declares a direct attack, or mo a Ghost Trick monster is going to target for attack, you can negate that attack and summon this guy from your hand. I'm still very good. Uh, Ghost Trick Mary right there, when you hit damage, you can discard this card and summon one Ghost Trick from your deck and face down the fence position. A uh, very good card too, because it allows you to like, you know, start, get your single monster you want. Um, and th this is probably one of the best ones here. Uh, basically, you discard this card right there uh, to negate a when a ghost trick monster is a certain battle or card effect, or by or yeah by that you can special summon from this hand and face down defense with it and then draw a card, which is very good right there for that deck to help get consistent to everything. So basically, uh, these monsters here are hand traps. Um, then level two right there are more like card effects that affect your opponent right there. Um, I will go over each one. Um, okay, basically when this card is flipped face up, um, during the end phase change as many face down monsters as possible to, the, to face down possessed to listen. Then you can summon one ghost trick monster who from, from your deck and face down present to listen to equal the number of monsters that were face, flipped face down because of this effect. Um, yeah, but I, this, that's that's a very good effect right there, depending on what monsters you have, um, and also if it's a full field, uh, it's very still very good. Uh, Ghost Trick Wits, um, okay. Uh, basically, when this once per turn, you can basically target a monster and then change it to face down percent position. Uh, it's basically you can. Uh, this allows you to get rid of a monster for a turn right there that might annoy you and stuff like that. Um, next, Ghost Trick Yuki's Una. Basically, this is like a card that has a okay effect, but also has a not a good okay effect. That's because um, it's hard to do, hard, hard to activate it. Basically, when your opponent uh, attacks this card right there and destroys it um, by and you know by battle, uh, you can just you can change that monster to face on the fence position, and then it's stuck like that until that monster gets get off the field, and it can't change its battle position at all. So it's very good. And uh, sorry. Sorry about me messing up right there. It's uh, I haven't like done a video in a while, uh, you know, commentary video. But I will try to make over it. Yeah, it's a uh, it's an okay effect, mostly just because of that. Uh, but it's still hard to actually um, use properly, just because it has to be destroyed by battle. Um, ghost. Okay, now the level three monsters. A level three monsters allows you to search cards, or search cards right there, or get rid of your opponent's cards. Uh, once per turn, right there. Target one Ghost Trick monster code. Its attack becomes equal to attack to all the combined Ghost Trick monsters currently on the field, and then to the end phase. But it does that monster can, it can be the only one. Um, so let me re let me read this. 
Once per turn during main phase, you can target one ghost trick monster to control its attack. It becomes equal to that combined visible attack of all ghost trick monsters occurring on the field until the enemy opponent's next turn. If it does, only that monster can attack this turn. So basically, this allows you to set up basically old teach kind of type of moves right there, or stuff like that. Basically, it allows you to do a major chunk of damage. Um, still, it's still not like, um, a best of card, but it's that. Uh, this is one of the best cards in the best monsters of the deck. Um, it's a rank 3. It's called Girl Trick Joanity or whatever. I might be messing up that name. Uh, basically, when this card's face up, you can add one card, one Ghost Trick monster from your hand, equal to the level of Ghost Trick monsters that face up in the field. So, and basically, so if you have uh, two ghost tricks and then you fist this one you get it level three uh if you only have one you get one if you just flip him up right there you get level one it's very good because it allows you the search and everything it's definitely very very good one of the best monsters in this deck ghost skeleton right there um once per turn, you can change this card in the face of possession position um when this card is flipped face up banners cards from the top of your opponent's deck face down up to the number of ghost trick monsters you control uh, so basically, if you have five ghost trick monsters in the field, and then you flip him right there, your opponent loses five cards uh, from your deck, and it's very hard for him to get them back. Um, um, definitely a good deck, but it, it's um, I had just had this card right there. That's to um, uh, it's more of a tricky card to use right there. I might get rid of him later on, uh, a little, but. This I did is a uh, ghost trick that's evolved that are evolved around this card that advancing opponent's cards from your deck. Uh, but I nothing. It's he, he's a so so card that's in this deck. Okay, next deck is ghost trick sign. This is actually uh, very, um, one of the other very useful uh, um, ghost trick monsters that are level three. Basically, if he does battle damage to your opponent's life points, uh, you can add a ghost trick spell or trap card to your hand from your deck. Uh, so it's definitely very good because this allows you to set up a defense next turn so your opponent can't destroy your monsters and everything. Um, okay, Ghost Trick Werewolf. When, basically, this one is card split face up. In fact, 100 damage for each set card on the field. So that means uh, in total you can actually do 2,000 like 2, damage per turn. I said, I said no, it's 1,900 damage per turn because uh, he won't be the only one, he would be the only one face up. But, um, it's basically a very good burn type of card right there if all the cards are set. Um, it's that card, I think that card mo most likely have, will have a card, of, you know, a deck of routing around him. But it's also a, a decent card for this deck just in case you need that little bit of burn damage but you don't want to risk an attack. Okay, next for spells. Um, I don't have a lot of spells in here. Uh, the main cards I have is the Little Doctors. This allows you to draw two cards. Uh, if you banish a dark monster, um, basically all these monsters are dark, so that is a card that you can use always. Book of Moon, this card evolves around like setting monsters, so this card is like a staple. Uh, Ghost Chick Manson, this is actually one of the most used cards. Uh, monsters cannot attack face down monsters and face down pretends to resist the monsters, but they can attract early of all monsters that face down. Uh, the opponent, if the opponent controls all uh, all face down monsters, the opponent can attack directly. Uh, all effect damage and battle damage, it defeated by other monsters other than ghost tricks, is halved. So basically, this card is a very good card in this deck because now your opponent has to do double the damage that has to kill you. So instead of uh, doing 8,000 damage, they have to do 16,000 damage to do, while you only have to do 18,000 damage. So it's a very good card to actually do, but as you can tell, most of these level monsters are level one. So you know, a low a low attack monsters. The highest attack one would be a uh, Ghost Six Stein. Uh, he since he has 1600, it's very hard to actually um, use properly. But but like as you can tell, you could you can survive longer and take direct attacks completely unless they have like. Something that can do 32,000 damage a turn, which is, you know, hard to actually do for us to do 32,000 damage a turn unless you have a deck that basically do a crap ton of damage all at once. But, um, yeah. Um, definitely one of the staple, like, uh, staple uh, cards in this deck. Um, next, one day apiece. 
uh, allows you, if I don't get a decent hand right there, I can just use this right there to protect myself for a single turn. Very good. Rageki, staple, as you know. Um, so as you can see in line, I'm probably going to put maybe another one in this deck, because this thing allows, since this thing uh, prevents monsters from being flit summoned, it's a very good card in this deck because it allows you to activate it right there, then summon a ghost trick, attack directly, and then you can set it right there and protect yourself. So the only thing the opponent can do is basically flit summon. Uh, but you know, I mean, is summon our monster until this thing goes away. So it's definitely a very good card. Um, it's basically like a sort of source of being light, but your opponent, ha like, your opponent, all the monsters in the field are set. And all, a lot of these monsters right there have flip effects too, so they, you know, so it's very good too. Okay, next, Bottom of Chapel, Staple, uh, Ceasefire. I think this might be a very good card in this deck. Uh, that's because you can do a maximum of 5,000 damage a turn. And I might add another one just because, that's because of that. Because you can do a shit ton of damage during turn. Um, the only thing is that you might, if you don't want to use this in a long time, because then you won't get um, Ghost Trick Rodney's effect or your auto car, auto monster's effect. But it all depends on what you have to use. You have to, you have to be safe when you want to use it. Okay, next, Compulsory Staple. Um, okay, next, Ghost Trick Knights. When a Ghost Trick monster is on the field, your opponent can't not flip summon. When this card in your possession is destroyed by your opponent's card effect and sent to your graveyard, your opponent cannot declare attacks for the rest of the turn. Very good card right there, just because if you set up ahead of time, you basically make it so your opponent can't actually summon any of their monsters at all. And then there is, um, if you also have a Ghost Trick Scare, target any number of face down monsters you control. Then you flip them, you flip them face up, and that set them an attack. And count the number of ghost trick monsters in the field. And if you don't change that many face up monsters, that you can put those to the face down defenses. This is a very good card effect. That's because it allows you to basically stop your opponent's momentum. That's because of that. Very good card. So that means you can activate it right at the battle phase right there, and then like make your monsters all safe. Uh, and also another good card that actually help you out your deck is Ghost Trick Banners. You just reveal one Ghost Trick monster in your hand, and this turn Ghost Trick cards you control and face down defense monster monsters cannot be destroyed by destroyed by or targeted by card effects. So that means you can your monsters will be safe. Definitely very good just because of that. Um, okay. Uh, more cards right there that are very good is Yellow Ceiling. This deck is somewhat slow, very monster wise, and since these monsters are all set right there, this is a very good trap just because you all your monsters will be safe because they'll be set during your turn. So it's definitely why won't you run it? Because most of the time your opponent's monsters will be face up on the field right there and you can wipe them all out. Uh, have two of them in this deck, then Solemn Warning. As you know, as you know right there, it's a staple. Okay. I'm not extra deck. Ghost Trick Duran. Basically, this monster gains 200, out, 200 attack per Ghost Trick you control, and then once per turn, you your player's turn, you can detach a material from him, and then target one fake monster in the field, half his attack, till the end of the turn. And then, um, when this card is sent to the graveyard right there, you can add, you can target one Ghost Trick card in your graveyard and add it to your hand. It's, this is a very good level 1 XYZ monster, that's because you can, it allows you to freaking get over like mon like so much of monsters. That's because of that card effect. Uh, and very good thing. Um, one of the best level one of like SYZ monsters. I have two of them in my deck. Okay, never never figure out your Toby Roots. When any monster declares attack, you can detach one SYZ monster material and negate the attack. And, you, and then. And then you can negate the attack, and if you negate an SRZ's monster attack, this card gains attack equal to that monster's rank times 100. So basically, um, there's ways where if you have an opponent's SRZ monster, and you have a bunch of these on the field, you can you take one off, and then you basically, uh, these things gain a crap ton of, of attack. That's because of that. Um... I just have it in here because it's uh, definitely a decent card, and also um, if I 
if I can't send them for some reason right there, I can just go into that right there in your opponent. And if it's an XYZ heavy deck right there, very good card that's to help. Um, next, Lionheart. Oh, this is one of the like, best XYZ monsters. That's because when you level w rank 1 XYZ monsters, uh, this face out attack position 1 cannot be destroyed by battle. If you take any battle damage, when you. When you take any better damage from your opponent, inflict the same amount of damage it, that you took from your opponent back to him. Um, and then you can uh, discard one material and your opponent takes any damage you were taken from that battle. So that means you could make it so that um, you can um, basically negate any damage that you took. And just give it what your opponent. So basically, your opponent cannot attack that. That's because you can just like give him all that damage back onto him. Very good card, just because of that. Uh, now, st next, Stack Resistance right there. It's just basically a star card. Um, it can't be targeted by, uh, can't be destroyed by a battle once per turn. And during any player's turn, when a card effect is a target of this thing, uh, or it, it gets. De sorry. Sorry about messing up here. It's, it's. I don't know. I'm messing up a lot. Um, during this turn, during either first turn, when a card or effect is activated, to target this card, and you can just discard, detach one material, and then negate it, and destroy the card. Uh, it's you know basic stock card. Like a Gachi, Gachi, Gashu right there. Um, basically, it, this card mainly increases your monsters' def attack and defense, uh, and also it. You can, if this monster gets gets to show, you can detach an XYZ material. Uh, per for all XYZ XYZ material on it right there, you can um for it's two right there. I am sorry, I'm messing up so bad right now. Uh, so I might be just tired. Okay, but let me just try to finish this here. If this XYZ monster will be destroyed. You can detach one XYZ. XYZ material from this card instead, and then face up monsters you control gain 200 and 200 attack and defense per XYZ material card on this card. Uh, basically, a very good card. That's because it stall allows you to stall better. It also gives you a monster. Okay, um, one of the new uh, Ghost Trick monsters is Ghost Trick Succubus. Basically, while you control another Ghost Trick monster, your component cannot target this card for attacks. Once per turn, you can detach one XYZ material from this card. Hug one face up monster with less attack of a go or equal or equal attack of all the combined Ghost Trick monsters on the field. Destroy it. If you do, that monster zone cannot be used while you control a Ghost Trick monster. So basically, this is a very good control type of card. Um, and that's because of that. And it's been used a lot more just because of that. Um, there's also a big uh, deck type around basically um, making it so your opponent can't summon monsters. So it's definitely very good. Um, next, um, the number 65, the Zen Buster. Um, when you're doing either spin, when your fat monster is activated, you can um, detach two material from this card, negative that evasion, and the effect point of damage to your opponent. Basically, this allows you to uh, stop and a monster's effect like that, that could screw up my game. Um, it's just that oh, it's an okay card, not the it's not the best, but it still like has its uses, as you can tell. Okay, and then Ghost Trick Alucard card right there. One of the best, one of the best of the rank three ones. That's because it allows you to destroy any set card in the field, and then and you also uh, they also he has they have to attack him first before anything because he cannot attack. Your opponent cannot target other Ghost Trick monsters or face down monsters other than him, so he has to just target attack him first. Um, and yeah, then uh, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one other Ghost Trick card in your graveyard and add it to your hand. So basically, um, that's a very good thing just because of that. One of the best ranked three monsters, that's because of that. Uh, two more, number 49, number 49, Fossil Dune, basically one of the best star, star cards, XYZ monsters that you have. Basically, um, he can't be, he cannot be uh, just targeted by card effects. And then, if this monster will be restored, you can detach an XYZ material from this card instead uh, to protect it right there. And then, during your standby phase, you can find all life points. 
and when this card is sent to the field to the graveyard you can target two level three monsters in your graveyard stop them both in the deck and you do return this card to the extra deck so basically this card unless the this is a card that banishes this cards from your um from the field so you this card gets banished right there you always have this a card in your extra deck it's a very very good stock card uh why not Zeremy's right there another good stock card that's because of its effects um if this card would be if this card will be destroyed, you can detach one SRZ material from the stand. Once returned to the end phase, if this card effect was used, you can destroy one card in the field. So yeah, that's basically um, Ghost Tricks at the moment. Um, I, when you uh, see me play some duels with this, that's when you know this deck will take a long time. The, this deck takes a long time to actually go for its turns. That's because it's a very slow deck, and it draws out its turns that's because of it but um it probably it probably will work definitely well but um but we will see what happens right there um well thank you for watching uh i'll probably talk more more of the deck later on the the extra deck right there is not like set in stone so i'm not going to talk about it at all but the main deck is mainly set in stone besides probably a couple cards that might change it out but thanks, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I will see you guys later. And make sure to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content. And have a nice day.